Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about creating landing pages. So you go to landing pages. To add one, click on the Add Landing Page button, which will then take you into our templates. If you already have a landing page you want to bring over, you can click on the Custom button and bring that code over. So let's select one of our templates to get into our Drag and Drop Editor. So once you're in the editor, the first thing you want to do is give your landing page a name. So let's do that. And then we can take a look at some of the elements that make up the landing page. So let's take a look at those. And those include layouts, which you can adjust or add, as well as various components that you can drag and drop into the editor. Media, such as images and videos. Various topography, such as a page header or a heading or a table that you can add to the page as well as buttons that you can bring over and you can add links to those buttons as well as well as bring over some agile forms on the landing page so you would just select the form so let's say we want to actually add an element so you want to bring over a page header so you select that drag it and drop it into the editor now to edit that particular element you double click on it and you see it's highlighted so let's say I want to change the text of that so let's do that okay so we've changed that now there's some other advanced features that you can update as it relates to this element or any element so while that element is, while that element is selected go to the advanced tab and you'll see there you can change the background or edit the background give it some shadowing adjust the padding the margin, the text style, or change the font, the border, or any border roundness of that element. Okay, so let's come out of that editing and let's say we want to change or update or add an image. Let's say we want to change this image. So you select, you double click on that image, then it's going to take you into the advanced area of that image and you go to attributes so let's say you have an image that is hosted somewhere else and you want to bring that over you would grab that URL and paste it in this ID field or you can actually upload an image so let's upload an image I'm going to select an image you know I have one in here somewhere select that one hit OK once it uploads it will populate so there it is so let's close that now you can also take a preview so before we do that I also want to show you we have what is called a code editor which allows you to edit the HTML of the landing page or the CSS or the JavaScript so let's close the editor and let's take a preview so there's the preview so that's what it's going to look like if you're on a desktop on a laptop on a tablet or on a mobile device Okay, so let's close the preview and close that and let's save the landing page. So once you save the landing page, it will take you to an area to see your list of landing pages. And the next step is to publish your landing page. So we'll click on the publish button and it's going to take you into the custom domain setup area. And what this means is that you want to give your landing page a name, which can ultimately be a subdomain on your domain. So let's say for our purposes, we want to call this page. And then here you would actually put in your domain, such as yourdomain.com, yourcompany.com, or whatever your actual domain is. Or if you want to publish it to a directory on your web server, you will put in the full path of that directory. Then the next step is you want to create what is called a CNAME record in your DNS settings with a host of page or the name that you've given it. And you're going to point the destination or point that subdomain to landing.agilecrm.com now where you update or adjust those dns settings is in either godaddy if godaddy is where your domain is registered with or bluehost for example or any or whomever your domain is registered with that's where you want to go ahead and create the c name create the c name and then your landing page is published i hope that was helpful 